It's hard to believe it looking at them now, but when the River Avon and the River Dean rose up so very high last summer, they didn't just sweep away kingfisher nests and eggs. The flood water also made it impossible for the kingfishers to hunt. The rivers were too deep to dive. So when we're down by the river, what can people look for? How do you know when you've seen a kingfisher? Very often you hear them first right. uh, rather than see them. You'll hear a sequence of high-pitched peeps or whistles, peep, 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 and then you look and suddenly see a flash of electric blue. Now we've seen some today. Um, they weren't, didn't actually seem to be diving for fish. What were they doing? They have a nest hole in a, in a vertical bank, so it's very dusty, and so, so they'll feed the, the youngsters um, a minnow or a bullhead and they'll come out and immediately dive into the, into the water um, to get rid of the dust and, and uh, go up straight up onto the perch, um, ruffle their feathers, and they'll very often go in two or three times just to get all that dust off them. This is perfect kingfisher territory, a sandy bank for a nest, tree cover, shallow water to fish in and the all-important perch. But it's a rare combination on a river and so kingfishers will defend their territory, sometimes to the death, to make sure they have it. What sort of start in life do the youngsters have? Because kingfishers, their parents are very aggressive and I guess all the other birds along the river are pretty aggressive too. Probably the most dangerous time is the parents will keep feeding them for about a week after they've left the um, the, the nest, but uh, after about a week, the parents have had enough, they want to start another brood, they'll chase them away um, quite aggressively, and um, it's at this stage that uh, the mortality rates are up to about 80%. So, aggressive little things, but marvellous too, miracles of evolution. Kingfishers face two problems um, with uh, water. Firstly is reflective glare, and they've evolved eyes that cut out a lot of the glare almost like you and I wearing Polaroid glasses and they're able to see the little fish better. They have a, a membrane that comes across the eye just before they, they hit the water to protect the eyes, obviously, as they're diving. So in point of fact, um, having spotted the fish and started the dive, um, they, um, they actually catch the fish blind. And on top of all that, it really is Britain's most beautiful bird.